Hello Summoners, and welcome to another Pro Guides video. I'm Trey, and today I'll be giving you a Masterclass speedrun for Kha'Zix. Ka is a really adaptable champ. Yes, he's an assassin, but he's not just reliant on the classic one-shot-the-enemy carries playstyle. With his different evolutions and flexible builds, you can play him all types of ways, making him a really strong champ to have in your pool for any meta. If you like what you see in this video, be sure to check out ProGuides.com. We're working on guides like this for every champ, adding onto our already huge list of over 500 Masterclass courses, put together by top-level pros and streamers. A pro account costs only $7.99 a month, and since we now bill monthly, you can cancel that any time if you want. That's already a crazy good deal, but to sweeten it even more, we decided that we'll be doing RP giveaways for subs as well. Every patch, we're offering up a nice little bag of 11,525 RP. Entering takes just three quick steps. Click the link in the description, sign up for a pro membership, and comment your pro guide's username down in the comment section. You won't find a better deal anywhere else. So what are you waiting for? Go pro now. All right, let's get on with this guide. Learning how to play Kha'Zix would be pointless if you're building him wrong. So let's talk about that first. Small disclaimer, League's meta shifts a lot so this portion could definitely change by the time you're watching the video. But for now, the optimal Kha'Zix runes are Dark Harvest, Sudden Impact, Eyeball Collection, Treasure Hunter, Absolute Focus, and Water Walking. Your tertiary runes should be Double Adaptive Force and Health. For your items, you'll want to take Scorch Claw as your jungle pet, build towards Duskblade of Drakthar as your mythic, then grab Lucidity Boots and Yomu's Ghost Blade. After that core is done, go for Cyrilda's Grudge, Edge of Night, and Black Cleaver. For your abilities, you'll level Q, then W, then E, and max them in the same order. For your evolutions, you should always go with Q first, E second, and with this build, almost always evolve your alt last. W Evolve is more of a bruiser build thing, and we'll talk about that later. This is a standard build for Assassin Kha'Zix, giving you max damage for blowing up squishies. You can of course make slight adjustments here and there, like picking up Serpent's Fang against shields, but don't try too hard to itemize defensively. Assassin Ka should pretty much always be a glass cannon. Now, let's get on to champion synergies. For Ka, there actually isn't a ton to talk about here. Due to his lack of CC and not too great early damage, it's nice to have a laner with good lockdown and burst to try to get fed early. More than synergizing with any champs in particular, it's better to say that he needs a team with pretty solid 5v5 strength if you're going to teamfight with him. The biggest need is just having a frontliner with strong engage, like Malphite or Ornn, to help start things off. Anytime they engage, there's a good chance some squishy enemy will isolate themselves trying to get out of it. This mostly stems from him being an assassin that really prefers to go for solo picks over teamfights anyways. In short, he doesn't really have any particular synergies, because he doesn't work with other champs anyways. Alright, next we'll move on to some specific mechanics and combos you can do. Ka isn't too crazy in this department. First, a really basic tip. Ka's Q can be cast during his E's animation, but you can't just use it right as you cast the jump. If you try to queue it up on the way to the target, he won't cast Q until after he lands. Instead, you have to actually press Q on your target once you're in Q's range. This doesn't need to be super precise. You can just mash Q the entire time, and once you're in range, it'll go off. To add a bit more damage to your combo, you may also want to leap with W before jumping. W can be a bit clunky to use in the middle of a fight, so it's best to use it from the Fog of War, then jump in with your EQ combo, causing all three spells and an auto to hit almost simultaneously for a massive burst of damage. The most important thing to learn with Kha'Zix is understanding that your Q is the vast majority of your damage. So instead of just insta-attacking after using ult, stay stealth a bit longer to wait out your Q's cooldown. Against super squishy champs, you'll easily win even with sloppy comboing, but this tactic will definitely help when dueling beefier champs that give you a tougher time. The double jump is a bit more technical and isn't quite as crucial, but it's still a nice skill to have under your belt. Double jumping is only doable once you have E evolved, and is done by it jumping with E, killing a target, then recasting E with the reset to get off a second jump before you touch the ground. Being able to do this looks really flashy, but it's still technical. When timed right, it'll allow you to very quickly reach opponents that think they're completely safe from you on the other side of teamfights. You can also combo his W and his ult with his jump. When you do this, the ability will start casting right as you're touching the ground. This is particularly useful to get off extra Ws in fights, since like I said, it can be a bit clunky to just throw out Ws in the middle of a scrap. So to summarize, Kha'Zix is a champ that already does ridiculous burst damage, even when played like a bot. 
but if you can integrate these combos into your gameplay, you'll feel like he's a lot smoother to pilot, and you'll be blowing up your targets even quicker. Alrighty, now that we've gone over all of that, let's actually get into your game plan so you can figure out how to make Kha'Zix work. Early on, Kha'Zix is a fairly weak champ. Even against an isolated opponent, you won't be doing too much burst damage, and it's even worse if you're stuck in an extended fight. Any strong early game jungler is going to roll you, and even most other farming junglers will be able to take you on. As a result, you'll pretty much always choose the path away from the opposing jungler when you can. Mirroring their clear is the only super safe way to go for scuttle grab. If you end up starting on the same side as them, and they go for crab when you do, you'll likely have to concede it without a ton of lane priority. Trust me when I say it's 100% okay to do that. So many junglers will throw an entire game just to fight for the first crab of the game, and it's simply always better to just play it safe. When it comes to ganking, Ka is pretty lacking early. All he has for CC is the tiny slow on his passive, and again, his damage is mediocre at best. That said, any gank is possible with the right laners, so just make sure you're pathing to allies that have their own damage or CC. Just be sure you know if the enemy jungler can be there or not, because a counter gank can be pretty devastating on such a weak champ. Once you get your first rated Durk and evolve your Q, things start to pick up a bit. Q evolve is a massive spike to your dueling ability, so you can actually start to be a lot more aggressive, even going for invades in the enemy jungle. It also makes him really good at taking dragons, so be sure to kill those on cooldown when it's safe to. So TLDR. Ka's early game is really weak, but you don't have to completely AFK farm. Just look for kills in the right places at the right time. Once you have his ult, you can be a bit more active, but it'll mostly be via objectives and invades since he's still a pretty weak teamfighter early on, due to him relying on having isolated targets to do damage. Once the lane phase ends and you reach the mid-game stages, Kha'Zix really starts to come online. Obviously, you'll be different levels of fed in different games, but for the most part, you should be able to annihilate anything that isn't a tank, juggernaut, or particularly beefy bruiser as you get to this point in the game. The number one rule for any assassin is to make sure that all outer towers are gone, and Ka is no exception. With outer towers down, enemy champs have to push up much further to secure CS, increasing the number of potential targets you can look to pick off. It also makes it a lot harder for the enemy support to ward up near objectives. Use this heavily to your advantage. Unless you're super fed, Kha'Zix isn't great at teamfighting. The solution is simply to never take a fair 5v5 fight to begin with. Look for a pick on an opponent that's just a bit too far up in a side lane or just camp in the enemy jungle, waiting for someone to make a bad rotation. Just be sure that you're buying control wards and have sweeper to make sure you're not the one getting caught out. In short, the mid game is all about playing for picks. You'll look for the squishiest foes, particularly ADCs, mages, and enchanters, that you can easily kill without it even being close to make sure you can take objectives without having to worry about 5v5ing. Now, what if the game goes super late? If you're new to Ka, you may be thinking that you're screwed when that happens. Assassins are supposed to fall off, right? Well, they're supposed to, but Ka doesn't. Not at all. In fact, his win rate is at its highest if games go past 30 minutes, up to nearly 55%. That's because, at a certain point, Ka does so much damage that you can kill a squishy target regardless of isolation, giving him a massive spike in his teamfight strength. At full build, he can also very easily take on even super beefy targets one-on-one, -on -one. although that does require a bit more of a specific type of build, but more on that later. Aside from destroying enemy champs, Ka also does ridiculous damage to Baron and Dragons in the late game, so if the enemy team doesn't have vision, don't be afraid to call for a sneaky rush. As long as you have someone tanking it for you so you do full damage, you can easily 2-mana and take it before your opponents realize what's going on. This is what makes Kha'Zix such an incredibly strong pick. A lot of assassins tend to fall off as the game drags on. Even if they have high damage, it's just too hard to execute. But Ka scales super well, so you don't need to snowball early to win. It just makes things easier when you do. Alright, now that we've covered all the basic game plan stuff, I'll just go over some general tips. So the number one thing to talk about here is the build. This whole guide was done under the assumption that you're playing Kha'Zix in the cookie cutter assassin way, and that's definitely the best way to go about him, but sometimes you have to change things up. The Bruiser build definitely has its place. You swap out the Dark Harvest rune page for one that has Conqueror, and make your core build either Eclipse or Gore Drinker, Lucidity Boots or Tank Boots, and then Black Cleaver. From there, you can do any mix of Lethality, Bruiser items, or even true tank items like Frozen Heart or Randuins. The way you choose to build will heavily depend on what you're going for. A really beefy build is going to serve you better whenever you just need to be a frontliner in teamfights, but if you're going to look to 1v1 a strong bruiser or juggernaut in a side lane, you definitely need to lean into more bruisery items. 
When doing this bruiser build, you'll usually swap up your evolves. Typically, you'll go W first, then E, then R, since you get a lot more value out of W's utility and won't be nearly as focused on going for isolated targets. Okay, back to the assassin captives. A really big one is to not jump the gun too early in teamfights. If you jump in on a target that can escape you and deny you your reset, you'll be dead in the water. Play around vision, hiding out in the fog of war, and wait for an opponent to either get low or isolate themselves where you'll for sure be able to one combo them. Lastly, remember my advice about going for picks before fights. So many people get it stuck in their head that you must group up to fight for objectives, but if that's your mindset for playing Ka, you're already at a disadvantage. You would always rather catch someone out when they try to rotate or just gank a side lane with an ally to make the numbers in your favor. Just abuse his flexible builds and playstyle and you'll always have options with Kha'Zix. And that about wraps things up for our Kha'Zix guide. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, if you want to see more from us, head on over to ProGuides.com. We have tons of other content and courses by pros like CoreJJ, Doublelift, and General Sniper for you to access. And now, we're even working on pushing out guides for every champ, just like this one. All of that for just $7.99. And that's not all. If you prefer a more one-on-one -on -one approach, our team of coaches are the best you'll find anywhere on the market. And with a ProGuide sub, you'll even get discounted rates with them. Trust me, the amount of time you save by booking a session with them is so, so worth it. You'll accelerate your climb by months once you apply everything they have to teach you. And of course, there's that sweet, sweet RP giveaway. Again, the link for the site is down in the description box below. Anyways, thanks so much for watching the video. Do let me know what you think down in the comments as well. I can't wait to see you guys back next time, but until then, good luck on the rift. Bye-bye!